Okay, hello and welcome everyone to Waterfront UTC. Um, if you'd like to follow me, I'll give you a tour of the premises uh, and talk you through exactly what it is that we do here. One of the major advantages we've got here as a school stroke college is that we have over 34 different company sponsors who work with us, all in the engineering and construction sector. We have some very big names, as you can see from the boards beside us. BAE is our, our lead sponsor. We have Delphi you know, in terms of engineering, we have Wilmot Brown, we have Red Row Homes. We have a whole list of some very national and very large companies that work with us. Uh, the purpose of that is so that they get exposure to our students because they are after the very best. Uh, we offer the very best. The students that come from here are in real demand. In fact, for the last two years running, our destination data is 100%. In other words, every student that's come here has moved on into their career uh, from the school. All right, so what we have here is an example of the commitment our sponsors have to us. So this uh, scale model of the Eurofighter has been donated to us by BAE Systems. Uh, they come in and meet our students throughout the four or five years that they're here. Uh, and they very quickly work with the ones that they feel could contribute to their firm. And when I say contribute, I mean you know, to a significant amount and become lifelong employees of BAE. So it's a great career and it's something that a lot of our students really want to work in. Okay, so welcome to Waterfront Sports Facilities. We have excellent facilities here. Uh, obviously the sports hall, as you can see here, is equipped for all sorts of sports activities. Our uh, students, both boys and girls, do PE together. And uh, the student activity that they do is designed to obviously ensure that all of our students get the opportunity to exercise, keep fit and enjoy being fit and healthy. This is our engineering suite. As you'll see, we have two classrooms. Uh, and then we have an open workshop with fantastic facilities here. Most of the students, in fact all of the students, do engineering and we do it up to a triple award, uh, which is the equivalent of three A-levels, up to the age of 18 in the sixth form. Um, it's 80% classroom based because of the academic nature of the course. So the majority of it is in the classroom. But you'll get the opportunity to come out and learn about all the different machines and equipment that we've got here. So we've got you know, a full range of equipment from the lathes, based hand tool machines, um, to the drill machines, lots of CAD CAM machines, so we've got over here uh, a CNC machine um, which is all computer controlled. We have a very large plasma cutter which is one of our uh, most powerful machines and it's, it's so powerful it will cut through steel so thick. Really, really powerful and really exciting to use. So we can do casting, we can do welding, we can do a whole range of bits and pieces. So it's really important that our students know and see this going on so that they actually learn from it. There's nothing better than doing, there's a better way to learn, that is the way to go. So we try and put that in practice as much as we can. Our students will go on to become design engineers, product designers, uh, they'll become uh, production managers, they'll be robotics engineers, they'll be electronics engineers. These are the people that are going to be running and driving Britain's future. Okay, so welcome now to construction. Very similar to engineering. Uh, it's mostly academic work and we have lots of opportunities for work experience, for site visits and for meeting employers uh, as part of the course. Pre-Covid that was going on all the time, obviously with the Covid situation it's more difficult but we still have those opportunities to do that for our students. Now, construction is very very important in terms of the drawing elements and all our students from right from the start in year 9 will have the opportunity to learn how to draw uh, technical drawings, working plans and working drawings by hand on computer, computer aided design but most importantly they'll be taught how to interpret the drawing and what it means. Uh, obviously all engineering and construction the very part of what we do is starts from the drawing so it's a very important part of it. So these are some year nine work that after the first half term they will have completed uh, a full set of drawings and uh, working models all to scale. So it's quite a technical task for them, but it's very effective and they enjoy it. And obviously all our students are here because they want a career in construction or engineering. So this is really, you know, giving them the opportunity to play to their strengths. We have here some examples of uh, all the different types of um, construction techniques and materials that you'll find in, in, in your, your general building. Our students don't actually spend time learning how to lay bricks or 
carpentry skills or anything like that, they are going to be the professional end of the market. So our students get to know what they are and how a brick wall should look, how it should be constructed without having the opportunity to lay the bricks and learn how to do a brick layer. That's not what we're about. What we're about is the next architects, the next site managers, the next surveyors. So we also have uh, in here vinyl cutters, we have laser cutters, all industrial standard. Uh, and we have 3D printers over in the corner, which our students have all the opportunities to get the most out of and learn how to use and operate effectively. As I said, in terms of the engineering, both engineering and construction, they're very similar. They're different fields of engineering. Um, but what's really important is all our, all our students that come here have the opportunity to learn all the new technologies that are out there. So that when they go into the industries that they're working in, they're familiar with it. That makes our students so much more valuable than students that have been from a more traditional education route. Okay, so join us again here in the sixth form area. This is their study area. So sixth form students that we've got here, they do get time to themselves to be able to study, but this is also uh, just purely for the sixth form. Now the deal with the sixth form is that um, they can come and go from the school not during their lessons obviously, if they're on track with their work. If they're up to the standard and they're working as they should be, we'll allow them to leave the school site and come back. However, if they're not, then they aren't allowed to leave the school site and they'll be expected to be working either here or in their departments that they're studying in. Very important to ensure the success that we have on our fantastic average grade of distinction for everybody. Okay, so this is the canteen facility we have here. I'll first of all start off by saying we have an award-winning chef uh, and the food is in great demand. We also have some fantastic views as you can see alongside separate areas for our year group students to come in. The, the canteen is open for six formers to use to study during their lesson time to have a space for them to relax and spread out on. But we open it at break and lunch time and in the morning for a breakfast club. So students can arrive from eight o'clock they can come up here, they can sit, they can have some breakfast, meet their friends, get themselves ready for an 8.30 prompt start in terms of their lessons. We always have the uh, TV screens running. First one is uh, obviously the, the, the BBC News, very important for our students, especially in this day and age, to keep up to date with what's going on with that. Uh, the middle screen we have, uh, often running engineering construction videos. It's all about focusing on those career paths and making sure our students learn and understand what engineering and construction is. And then thirdly, we have a notice board just electronic notice of all, so everybody in the school knows what's going on, where and when. Um, very important, and it helps give a nice adult and grown-up atmosphere to the building, which works very well for our students. Uh, especially when you realise that we have professional dress wear for all students from year nine upwards. So there's a level of maturity and freedom that we give to our students. They've really returned that by having excellent standards of work. Right, so welcome to our, one of our two uh, IT suites. Uh, this one we use to specialise in computer science and the delivery of computer science. On the whole, uh, engineering students would be studying computer science, our construction students would be studying geography as part of their option block, and obviously that's quite important to support their uh, curriculum and their subjects that they choose. But we're very fortunate that we've got some very good equipment that we can use for computer aided design, computer science, uh, and any other IT application that, 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 that may be needed. Okay, so welcome to Business Studies, the class we have here. Business Studies is an option that we offer. We feel strongly that it's a very important option to support our curriculum. Our students are going to work in business. They're going to work for engineering and construction firms. So business obviously is quite an important subject for them to understand, to be able to know, make sure that they can contribute to the construction and engineering businesses that they're going to work in. So it's one of the options that we have for our students to choose and it's very popular. Okay, so we've uh, concluded the tour of the building. Uh, I think now it's appropriate that I spend a little bit of time talking to you about what the curriculum is that we offer. So for students that want to join us in year nine, we offer uh, a straightforward curriculum that is gonna lead to a successful career in the STEM industries. So all students that come here will, will be doing English language, English literature, they'll be doing maths, and they'll be doing core science, all GCSE subjects. They then have a choice between doing triple science, computer science or geography and they choose one of those three subjects. Following that they need to choose one from engineering or construction. We've then got two more subjects for them to choose which will be from any of those last list of five. Added to that they can choose design technology and business studies. So as you'll notice everything is 
honed down to the subjects that are going to benefit our students in their future careers in engineering and construction. Alongside that, as I mentioned earlier, we do do PE, it's physical activity, it's about keeping fit and healthy and every single day our students have company time, uh, often known as form time in schools. We name it company times because they're named after our sponsors and obviously we do lots and lots of work to support our students to understand careers and how to get on and what, you know, what company delivers what. But in that time we also cover PHSE, RE uh, and relationship matters. So, if you're keen and would want to know further, then you're very welcome to contact us by telephone, by email, and you're welcome to come in, have a look around for yourself, and I'll be happy to give you a tour around and talk and answer any questions you may have about the school. Whether it be year nine or joining us in the sixth form from year 11, I will say that we are very popular at the moment, and our reputation precedes us, and we are very full and have waiting lists in every year group. So if you are interested, please be quick. Don't miss out on an opportunity that could really set you up for a future career.